Hi all, this is Pixel Cave, and in this video we want to take our first look at the new clan emblem feature that will be added to the game with Chapter 1 of Age of War. With the next age, it will be possible to create your own clan emblems with a new workstation and display them on various items. The new clan emblem workbench can be unlocked under decoration in your knowledge. It doesn't have any level requirements, nor does it cost any knowledge points, so you can get started with your clan right after creating a character. By the way, in case you were wondering, all tabs of the knowledge categories have been redesigned with new little symbols. The knowledge for the clan emblem workbench also unlocks a standing and a hanging banner, as well as a regular and epic heater shield. These are all items that display the clan emblems when put up or worn. Before we take a closer look at the items, let's check out the new workbench. There is one requirement for using the new clan emblem feature, and that is that you are a part of a clan. That means that even if you're playing solo, you still need to create a clan for yourself as to be able to use it. In fact, you won't even be able to place the workbench otherwise. Now, let's assume that you are in a clan. The clan emblem workbench can be built with a construction hammer and is found in the new clan category under crafting stations. As long as no emblem has been created, the workbench and all other associated items that display a clan emblem will show an empty placeholder image instead. The bench itself looks quite nice and very different from what exists in game, so it doubles as yet another cool placeable for your base as well. Keep in mind that this is a beta build and potential texture issues and other elements are work in progress. Now let's have a look at the actual clan emblem editor. Once you open it, you will see that an emblem is made up of two elements. The foreground, which is typically a kind of clan insignia or symbol, and a background pattern. Currently, at least in this preview version, there are 5 free foregrounds to choose from, as well as 7 that are locked. These can most likely only be acquired through the bazaar or battle pass. Then there are 5 free and 5 locked backgrounds. It was said during the developer stream that there are plans to add more design options with future updates. That could be free additions as well as battle pass or bazaar unlocks. In the future we will also likely see less wall and floor paints in the battle pass as clan emblems will be replacing some of those rewards. The colors of the foreground and background design can be adjusted individually. There are three sliders that allow you to play around with the shade and intensity of the color. Here are a couple of examples of possible different combinations. When it comes to battle pass or bazaar designs, it was confirmed that as long as the person who creates the emblem owns a unique design, then all members of the clan would also see the emblem on their items, even if they don't own it. They will simply not be able to create an emblem with a design they don't own themselves, that's all. Now you might ask, is there an option to upload your own design? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Probably Funcom wants to avoid any issues with images that would go against the terms. That could be copyright issues or anything that's not safe for work, or otherwise upsetting and inappropriate. Another question that came up during the developer stream was in regards to PvP. What if someone loses a shield with an emblem from another clan? It was confirmed that the shield would simply display the looter's own clan emblem, or if they aren't in a clan, an empty placeholder. Unfortunately, there is no option to loot and display other clans' emblem items as trophies, at least not for now. We also try to use a shield with a created clan emblem in combination with the illusion system. And unfortunately it doesn't seem to work. The result will only display what's seemingly another placeholder. The same happens when we mount a shield on a shield display. 
We presume or hope that this is still a work in progress and that the illusion system as well as shield displays will work once the H launches. One last thing in relation to the emblem editor. At the bottom of the editor, you can see four options that allow you to change permissions by selecting a required rank. By default, this is set to leader, but it can be changed to officer, member or recruit. Giving, for instance, a member permission to edit does weirdly enough also allow them to change permissions, at least to the lower rank, which in our eyes makes no sense. We believe permissions should be restricted to editing of emblems, not the ability to change permissions as well. If anyone with permission to edit changes the clan emblem at any time, the emblems on all items currently in game will automatically display the new design. Items do not have to be crafted again or be manually updated, it's all managed via the workbench. After changing an emblem, we also experienced that not all items were visually updated right away. In our case, leaving the render distance of the items and coming back fixed it. So what are the items that are freely available in game and work with the new feature? As mentioned before, by unlocking the workbench you also unlock two banners and a shield. The standing banner is quite tall, so it might be rather suitable as an outdoor decoration or for a base with very high ceilings. The hanging banner is actually quite large as well. And here's the heater shield. You'll be able to craft a regular and epic version of it. While the design options and item selection are still limited, from the little we have seen in the developer stream, there will be at least some fore and background designs in the battle pass, as well as the round varnished chieftain shield that Den was wearing. Another very cool item that was shown was a new type of saddle for horses that can display the clan emblem. To be precise, this type of cloth covering for horses is called a caparison, and from what we could find in the admin panel, there will be three different types in game. An arcane, terranian and midnight caparison. The arcane caparison could be seen as one of the battle pass rewards and we presume the other two are bazaar items, as neither of them could be spawned. It would also be very cool to see some more items that could display clan emblems in the future. Like any other wearable armor, pet skins, signs, totems or smaller banners and similar. Time will tell, at least there is a lot more potential here. And that was all for this feature preview. We would love to hear from you in the comments and as always, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell.